Hi everybody, welcome to our first on the, ro on the road uh, video series for the uploads. Um, Alden and I are enjoying a nice long 12 hour layover in Atlanta, Georgia and we're spending the day at the Martin Luther King Center for Nonviolence and Social Change. Um, this has been a profound afternoon. Um, really is preparing me for the next two weeks of our lives. Um, the scourge of segregation and racism and inequality and lack of social justice. The uh, Martin Luther King Center for Social Change and Nonviolence is a huge giant complex. We went on a nice little uh, tour of his birth home. Um, we can't go into the church because that's in the middle of being reconstructed. Um, and you know, I we just watched a, a movie and one of the things that was very striking, you know, at the end of a quote, our most persistent and urgent matter is what have we done for others, quote of Martin Luther King. And I love this excerpt from a letter from his Birmingham City Jail um, stay. You know, we have waited for more than 400 to 340 years for our constitutional God-given rights. I guess it's easy for those who have never felt the stinging darts of segregation to say, wait, but when you have seen vicious mobs lynch your mothers and fathers at will and drown your sisters and brothers at whim, when you are harried by day and haunted by night by the fact that you are a Negro, living constantly at tiptoe stance, never quite knowing what to expect next, and plagued with inner fears, and outer resentments, when you are forever fighting a denigrating sense of nobodiness, then you will understand why we find it difficult to wait. This, uh, this building that we're in, there are several different buildings that are part of the complex, but this building is um, full of a bunch of nice video demonstrations and uh, theater presentations. Um, as Alden and I were watching this, he was amazed to believe that people could talk like that on public television. Property could be destroyed, their lives taken. If you said anything, if you dared to speak out. It's always a danger. I really love this glass wall. It's very difficult for, for a lot of you to see, but I'll just read out some of these. Some of these were uh, laws of the, of, that were incorporated into the Jim Crow laws. Um, education, the schools for white children and schools for Negro children should be conducted separately, Florida. Juvenile delinquents, there should be separate buildings not nearer than one-fourth mile to each other, one for white boys and one for Negro boys. White boys and Negro boys shall not in any manner be associated with each with together or work together. Mental hospitals, the Board of Control shall see that the proper and distinct departments are arranged for said patients so that in no case shall Negroes and white persons be together. Intermarriage, it shall be unlawful for a white person to marry anyone except a white person. Any marriage in violation of this section shall be void. Barbers, no color barber shall serve as a barber to white women or girls. Burial, the officer in charge shall not bury or allow to be buried any colored persons upon grounds set apart or used for the burial of white persons. I mean, amazing, isn't it? A victory at home as well as a victory abroad. Whole notion of white supremacy that that be destroyed at home, along with defeating Hitler's Nazism and Italian fascism. When they returned home, African American soldiers and military men moved back into the South intent on using whatever power that they had to bring down the whole system of segregation. 